So this is our 1950s Alice Chalmers uh, HD5. Um, it has a fuel tank on the back that says it's a six, but that's just the fuel tank is from a six. And it has a Detroit diesel, two stroke diesel in it. It's a 271, so it's two cylinder 71 series, uh, 71 cubic inches per cylinder. And again, it's from the 50s, so this thing's over 70 years old. And uh, we're gonna use it today to do some work here on the property. We've already pushed a lot of dirt with it. Um, it does real well. The grousers are kind of worn out on it, but they're enough to get enough traction and it weighs enough to, to do what you need to do. Uh, it was very cold last night. It was in the 20s. Uh, it's, it got to a high of like 45 today and it's probably about 40 right now, maybe a little chill here. So, 34. It's 34 right now? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, hopefully it's gonna start up. I didn't bring any starting fluid down. Okay, to start this thing up, disengage the clutch there. And I'm gonna keep the fuel off and let it turn over for a little bit just to build up some heat in the cylinders without the cold fuel spraying in. So it's not gonna start. I was just trying to use the compression to warm up the cylinders. Now I'm gonna give it fuel. Let's try it one more time, no fuel. Give it some fuel. Come on. Back to no fuel. Hope I can do this before the batteries. <laughs> oh yeah, it's gonna go. Come on. <laughs> it's gonna start. Come on. It is very cold. These things don't like cold weather.
not that high in the gear. on top of it. Yeah. You might have to come out here and cut this so it's not underneath that big one or something needs to get over there, but that's close to the edge. So either that one needs to be cut so it takes the weight off of it or this is going to need to be cut to not. Yeah, there's too much too much piled on top. Two big trees on top of it. Three two Yeah, two big trees. Kind of curious why so much smoke was just coming out of the air intake. Was it running backwards? <laughs> what do you mean? The engine, this engine can run backwards and there was just a bunch of smoke coming out of the air intake after it almost died. Huh? How does that happen? I, I think it, I think it spun it backwards. That'd be cool to see. Yeah, it definitely was running backwards there. Um, it when the engine died, it just started to roll. The machine itself was rolling backwards just a hair as I disengaged the clutch. And as soon as I disengaged the clutch, the engine was ring, you know, was spinning backwards a little bit. And it was just enough to free it up where it just started running backwards. Um, I, you know, it's, it's possible on a two-stroke to do that. So that's crazy though. I was trying to push has that tree laying over it and then that big tree laying over it so I need to actually if I come down here and cut that tree with a chainsaw and then I can I just want to get more of this area usable over here and then I need to drag these big logs out of here and take them over to the sawmill those are about 18 inches in diameter maybe maybe more those are oak so that's what a 71 series cylinder liner looks like and it's a two-stroke, like I mentioned. So everything happens on one revolution. There's an upstroke and a downstroke. Uh, when it drops down below, air is blown through those ports right there, and that'll push the exhaust gases out. And then once the valves close at the top, that air going in is fresh air. And then the piston comes up, basically closes these off because it goes beyond it, compresses it, creates the heat explosion, comes down. And as soon as the piston drops below that, that air is always blowing up against those and then it goes out through again. So up and down, and that's what allows it to be able to run backwards. 
Well, this thing is a workhorse. Um, we love having it. We didn't, that doesn't cause any damage to it when it, when it runs backwards like that. Uh, it's just kind of exciting and, and different, so that might be neat for you to see. Hopefully you liked it. His tools, check the air and all those duels. It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? Well, he's got a long, hard ride. It on plenty of the silver sides. Get that bus grease monkey on the road. Well, he's got that hammer down and that 47 hound. It's that bus grease monkey on the road. He travels all around and he's coming to your town. Get that bus grease monkey down the road. Watch that bus grease monkey do his thing. Thirty years behind that barn, cause it don't run worth a darn. Watch that bus grease monkey make it sing. He knows in Detroit there's no doubt upside down and inside out. It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? Saving buses far and wide in that old blue silver sides. It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? He's moved his family to the hills of Tennessee. Watch that bus grease monkey make his home. Bringing buses back to life with the help of his dear wife. Watch that bus grease monkey get it done. Well, he travels town to town working on them old greyhounds. It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? Saving buses far and wide in old Lily the Silver Sides. It's that bus. Monkey, don't you know? It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know?